So, I wrote a big fat script for this episode. It's lost to the black hole of time and space. You wouldn't think you could lose a page from your computer, but I can. So instead, we're just going to talk in generalities about the placings for each category. I've already done a review of this movie as a crossover with my brother. If you have not been able to watch it, check it out right up here. Melody Time has a pretty decent storyline. There are a few moments that bug me, but for a wartime short, this is about as good as it gets. And that's exactly what it gets. The best storyline for a clip show at 5th place out of 10. Music is jazzy at times and almost always high energy. It's a contemporary piece again and it's very enjoyable for me at least. But this piece is what I wish Fantasia would have been. It's not as good as Bambi though, as Bambi seemed to me to use music on a whole different playing field. Melody Time receives 4th place out of 10 for music. Animation. The animation here is stellar. It has a few scenes of multiplane animation that's rivaled only by Bambi. And the animation here is stylized more than any other Disney movie before it. Even some of the foreground characters get some reimagining. I love this animation way more than any of the other wartime shorts, and also more than some of the Golden Age movies. Melody Time receives third place out of ten. Character. Once again, this is a stellar performance from Disney. Wartime shorts don't have a lot of time to explore character, but these scenes feel more like a Pixar short or an emotional opening for one of Pixar's movies. Each second is used well to display the characters reactions to the world around them and often they throw a lot of little curveballs in that you never expect. There are a couple of characters that I don't like, but even they have their bright spots in this movie. Even that stupid bird that I love to hate on has a moment at the very beginning of emotional clarity that's a little bit surprising and a little bit refreshing for him. It makes me have sympathy for him for a couple of seconds, until I don't and then I hate him again. Melody Time receives third place out of ten for character also. Technology. Melody Time has a great use of technology, but it's not particularly innovative. Multiplane camera work, along with some pretty impressive live-action animation mixing, sends this piece to higher realms of technology. For furthering already existing technologies, though, Melody Time receives sixth place. Overall, Melody Time is a stellar movie, and not only just as a wartime short. This is one of those that transcends its actual time in history as a much better movie. Surprisingly though, I find that few people really love this movie. I encourage you to go watch it for yourself. See what you think. For me, Melody Time receives 4th place out of 10. So what did you think of my rankings? Are they fair or are there some things that you would probably change? If there are some things that you would probably change, please comment about them in the doobly-doo below. Also, likes are appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more great content about Disney movies and about other media coming soon.